afloat with Henry Morgan. Captain Morgan is firmly convinced that Hunter has taken the Aztec necklet and is in hiding together with Dolores and Kitty. He, of course, has no idea that Hunter has been arrested as an escaped convict and sent to the swamps. Nor does he know that Dolores, aided by Dietz, has taken the necklet, and that she is in hiding with Kitty, who has been kidnapped by Dietz. Dietz returns to the stone hut to tell Dolores that Morgan is sailing in two days' time. And as this is before a ship is due to take Dolores back to Cuba, together with Dietz and Kitty, she tells him he will have to desert the flying gull at the last moment. Jeffrey Hunter, working in the swamps, saves the life of a Negro named Hero. Late that same night, he tells Jeffrey that he has plans for escape and asks Jeffrey to join him. Escape? But how could one escape from this hell? You just keep your voice down. I knows what I'm talking about. But... How could such a thing be possible? This is the only place we can talk, boss. You see, the other men, they is all asleep. Asleep in the sleep of exhaustion. In the morning, they'll be roused from their sleep with whips. They won't stir all the years. This is the only time we can talk. All right. Let's hear what it's all about. How are we going to escape? I made up my mind to get away from here some time ago. And just two days ago... I got into the workshop and stole a file. I've been working on my fetters. There's almost filed right through right now. Just a couple more strokes and they'll come apart. But I've not done that. I'm waiting, just in case someone discovers the fetters are broken. What about me? I was going to work on your fetters tonight. And so have them just like mine in the morning. All right. Well, we get out of our fetters. What then? There'll be a human cry set up after us. Where can two fugitives hide? I have that all worked out, too. You know how I came to be here working in the swamps? You must be an escaped slave. Yes. I ran away from a plantation. I reckoned I knew a safe place where I could hide. But it was not as safe as you thought. Those places never are. So what guarantee have we got that we won't be found before we reach Port Royal? The hiding place was all right. It was just my foolishness that made me be caught. I was hiding in this place for a long while. I became overconfident. Thought the hunt must be over for me. So I went out onto the highway. They saw me and caught me. But I never told them where I'd been hiding all that time. They don't know my hiding place. It's as good still to hide. Where is it? It uh, ain't so very far from here. As a matter of fact, it's just at the top of the hill. Just before you start to go down to the swamps, it's an old stone hut. Oh, a stone hut would be useless. No, sir. I reckon there ain't nobody that remembers that place. I found it quite by accident. It's covered with moss and green vines. Unless you get right up close to it, you'd think it was part of the jungle. Anyhow, I stayed there quite safe for ten days. No one came there, and they was all looking for me. It wasn't until I went out onto the road that I was caught. My own foolishness caught it all. Then if we could escape and get to there and stay in hiding until the pursuit has passed, we could make our way to Port Royal. You have heard of Captain Henry Morgan. Ah, uh, sure has. Captain Morgan and I are friends. If we could get to Port Royal and get aboard the flying girl, he would protect us. He's sailing very soon. We'd be away from Jamaica and out into safety. It seems as though your being here is an act of providence. I would have had to stay in Harden for the rest of my life. But now, with your help, we can get to the hiding place, get to Port Royal, and then get away for good, eh? Yes. Hero, I, I believe we could. What's that? Them is bloodhounds for tracking down the men what think they can get away. Bloodhounds? And that rather dashes all our hopes of escape, doesn't it? I thought of that, too. We will have to wait for the right time to get away. There's no right time when there are bloodhounds on our trail. But there is. We get mighty lot of rain round this place. And when it rains, the thunder comes and the water comes down in torrents. That track up the hill there comes down like a river. 
The water rushes down and no bloodhounds could follow that track then. I see. Then you're only waiting for a night when there's a thunderstorm so you can make your escape. Sure, boss. That's what I'm doing. I'll trick the hounds. Then you better go down on your knees and pray very hard that we have a thunderstorm very soon. Because Captain Morgan is sailing before long, and if we don't reach him before he sails, it's going to be too bad for us. Don't worry. We'll have one before long. Every night, before I come in here, I take a look at the sky to see if it's coming. It'll be here soon. And whereabouts is this hut which you say can't be seen from the track? Are you sure it can't be seen by a casual passerby? I certain it can't. From the hut, I'd watched the men coming down that track. Not one of them had any idea that there was a hut there. Now, if luck comes our way, I might be able to show you just where it is. Can you see it from the swamp? No, sir. Tomorrow is provision day. They bring the provisions up from Port Royal to the top of the hill. A party of convicts and slaves have to go up there and bring the goods back. And if our luck holds, maybe you and me will be sent in the party, huh? Then maybe... I can show you where the hut is. All right. Let's hope our luck does hold. Now, now, Jeffrey, you'd better try to get some sleep. Maybe now you'll be better after I told you this news. Maybe I will. Though I'm worried. I'm beginning to fear that someone I relied upon has let me down. You need not worry about hero like that. As your friend for life. Now you get some sleep. I was going to work on these fetters for a while with my file. I am going mad. I cannot stand being cooped up in this hut much longer. Oh, sure, and it's a pity about you. You're here by your own free will. And what about me? Why, I've not even the use of my hands. And you're not going to get the use of them either. Why will you not tell me who you really are? All I know is that you must be some Spanish spy. I am not in the mood to talk about myself. Oh, I feel stifled in this hut. Why must I stay here? Surely it must be safe for me to go for a little walk to see the sky above me and the green trees around me. That is what I will do. I will go for a little walk. But don't worry. I will be back. But before I go, I will first of all bind your feet and gag your mouth. Yes, hero, of course. Uh, let me take this end of it. <coughs> when we was coming up the track, did you see the hut? No, and I looked hard for it. I told you you couldn't see it. It looks just like the trees. We passed quite close to it, too. Couldn't we slip away now and hide there? It wouldn't be any good doing that now, Jeffrey. When we return to the swamp, the overseer calls a muster. He would soon know that we was missing. And every niche around here be so thoroughly searched that the hut would be discovered. We will have to wait until one night and get a good start. Then they think we travel miles. Yes, yes, you're quite right. But I tell you what we might do. Maybe we could slip away and have a close look at it. How could we do that? You watch the overseer. He goes down in a very short while and talks to the other men who come from Port Royal. They talk about the happenings in Port Royal, and he forget about us people. He don't watch us too closely. He knows we can't go far. But the others who are working here might see us go. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll carry this barrel right over to the edge of the jungle there and slip through as soon as his back's turned. Look, look, he's gone over there now. We can go and see the hut and be back in five minutes before we missed, and then we won't get any punishment. I'll take the risk if you will. All right. All the other workers seem occupied in what they're doing. No one's watching us. The overseer's down talking to the men. Let's put the barrel down here and quietly fade into the jungle. That's the hut right there in front of you. Unless you got within two feet of it, you would never know it was a hut. It's a perfect hiding place. There's a window there, too. That's in plenty of light. I reckon we're the only ones who knows about that hut. I doubt if anybody living in Jamaica ever remembers it. 
Come on now. We'll have to get back. Wait a minute. Let's have a look in the window and see what it's like inside. There's nothing to see. Just a bare room. Ain't been anybody there since I left it. But you're wrong here, though. Somebody is there. Huh? Keep on the floor. Looks to me like a woman. A woman didn't dare? Well, that's your imagination. No, it isn't. It's too dark to see clearly, but there's something about that figure looks familiar. Why, well, I believe the woman is bound and gagged. And it... Ah, it's impossible, but... You know, how do I get into this place? The door's right here, but we should be getting back. You wait here, you know. And give me the alarm when he comes. But it is. Kitty, what are you doing here? Mm. Wait, let's hit the gate mm. in your mouth. Uh, Kitty, what does this mean? It's you, Jeffrey. Oh, I'm, I'm not dreaming, am I? Oh, but how can you ever speak to me? Doesn't matter about that. Why are you here? Tell me why. It's Diaz and that woman. They've been holding me prisoner. They're going to take me away to some Spanish possession. Oh, Jeffrey, help me, please. What woman are you talking about, Kitty? The night that I betrayed you, after the men had taken you away, Diaz and this woman, they were there. He had to put the Aztec necklace around my neck. He made me wear it in the oh. Dolphin Tavern. And then early in the morning, just at dawn, he came back and throttled me into unconsciousness. And when I came to, I, I was hid in this hut, tied up, and, and with this woman, the woman who was masquerading as Sir Thomas's kinswoman. Jeffrey, she's a Spanish spy, and they found her out, and she had to run away. And that's why she's here with me, hiding. She's gone out for a walk now, but she'll be back. That woman is a Spanish spy? But she knows all Captain Morgan's plans. You say she's going back to a Spanish possession? Yes, she and Diaz, and they're taking me too. That's yes, Jeffrey. Hurry, hurry. There's someone coming through the trees. Things are moving to a climax for Jeffrey. Will he be able to rescue Kitty and give warning to Captain Morgan? Listen to the next episode of A Float with Henry Morgan.